It is party time, Mom. Welcome to another episode of the Chad Prather Show. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. You know, Tuesday just doesn't get enough credit, Natalie. It just doesn't. It's just a lackluster day, right? You're not excited yet. Well, Monday, you know, Monday's Monday, Lisa. Mm -hmm. You get to Wednesday is hump day. Mm -hmm. That's kind of exciting. Thursday is like pre Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Friday and Saturday. And and, and then, uh, you know, then there's Tuesday. (laughs) It's a good day. You can eat tacos. (laughs) Yo, Taco Tuesday. And um, I I could eat a taco right now. I'm kind of hungry. I haven't been eating. (laughs) I know. (laughs) <laughs> I've been starving myself. I, I, I've, I've like I've gotten in touch with my inner growl. Like yeah. I can hear my stomach. Stress does that though. Yeah, it does. Candice, the queen of the Ethiopians, um, puppet master Mark. You guys, do I look thinner on camera, Mark? I can't see myself. That's really a, well, I care. Oh, one hundred percent. I don't have to use the wide angle lens anymore. There so. you go. That a boy. He can actually he can actually zoom in now. Doesn't have to back way out to get me all in there. Um, yesterday, we talked about all that YouTube drama that was on there. Mm-hmm. There were a lot of takeaways from that. If you missed the episode, I want you to go back and watch it. Exposing the main takeaway we wanted to expose uh, YouTube and their hypocrisy of how they uh, cancel some people and promote others when they really should be canceled uh, in a big way. And, uh, you know, folks out there like ourselves here at The Blaze. We are doing everything we can to get a message out there. We are independent broadcasters. We are independent um, uh, op-ed people. I mean, we we give our opinions. We're not, I'm not news per se, although we talk about the news. We're just trying to get our voice out there. Mm -hmm. Not hating anybody. Not date raping, not drugging, Mm -mm. not doing any of that stuff. Not bragging that we're going to go to jail in 20 years. Yeah, I mean, like I'm not doing anything that I need to go I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know who I was in that moment whenever I did what I did. No, oh, God. I don't know me anymore. Ah, 30 million views. Uh-huh. Cha-ching, cha-ching, <laughs> cha-ching, 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 ching, 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 Every one of their apologies was five minutes long. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't deserve to be here. I am going to change I myself right now. Yeah. I can do better. I hate that. Do better. I can do better. Yeah. I'm not leaving. I'm going to stay so, right here, right here, but I don't deserve let, it. Let me, <laughs> let me just say that to be those people, to create what they've created, I mean, you're talking about people who created uh, $30 million to $15 million a year. I mean, from the mm-hmm. top down to the top, to the, to the 10th, uh, nine-year-old, $30 million. Oh, my gosh. All the way down to a cross-dresser who makes $15 million a year. I mean, you can see the, the graphic that's on there. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, those, are huge, those people aren't stupid people. No. Mm-hmm. They're not dumb. They know exactly what they're doing. Uh, so the apologies are fake. That's why I always brand unapologetic. Show yourself there, Mark. Put, put, the, put the camera back on you. Look at, look at Herbert the Silent Deer over there. See the little light that's flashing right there? Right above, there's a sticker that says unapologetic patriot. Look at that right there. You can't read it from there, but you can get it on my website. Uh, that's because I don't want to do anything that I have to apologize for. I want to remain unapologetic, right? And I'm not going to apologize. I do owe you an apology. Oh, God. <laughs> well, it's just yesterday there were so many layers of that. If you didn't watch it, you have to go back and watch it because it, it's, it's deep. But I couldn't get past the first part, and I apologized no, because that no, wasn't even no, your point. No, and that was a great takeaway. Oh, I was just, I'm People sorry. People need to see, no matter who is at fault in that video, People need to see the, gratu- the, 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 the graphic nature, I will say. Yeah. Of whether it's, and see, reality TV is one thing. You have editors and producers and you can cut clips and you can do these things. But when these people are without filter and without any uh, edit and they're just showing life happening, you're going to see some real toxicity. Yeah. Right? You're going to see a lot of that. And it, it, it gets pretty bad because there's no accountability there. And YouTube sure as hell not com- providing accountability when all they have to do is come back on and say, I'm so sorry. I don't know who I was. Yeah. And, and their script- views just multiply exponentially. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But chances are those people who did apologize, they probably didn't even write that. It was written by someone. Hmm. Yeah. You know, they were reading it off of something. But when you have that many millions of dollars coming in, you have mm-hmm. people who are, yeah, you're doing a lot. 
And I mean, you understand, this is just their YouTube revenue. We're not talking mm -hmm. about what they get paid independently as contractors with, you know, promoting. I mean, look, I've made a living now for however many years working with sponsors and, and you know, they we can't do these shows without them. Uh, and that's where the apologies come from, because as soon as the, the sponsors come in and say, no, nah, we're not going to be able to continue giving you money. That's when they're, I am so sorry. Yeah. That's when that comes. I'm not even good at fake tears. No, I've said stupid stuff, and I've genuinely apologized. I, I really do. However, when you I look, I pay you big money to say stupid stuff. Well, when you <laughs> look at when you look at when the apology happened for all of these multimillionaires, yeah. then that's where you have to get to the root, <clears throat> and that's the problem. I'm still waiting on Ryan Kaji, the nine-year-old, to apologize <laughs> for giving a bad review of uh, Paw Patrol. Okay. <laughs> well, they've Let's, already been canceled, though. Uh, speaking of selling something, Candace, <laughs> I am excited about this. You never thought that COVID could cost you your home. Man, we've talked about this, and I can't tell you enough cybercrime up 75% since the pandemic struck. The most serious cybercrime to worry about is home title theft. Cyber criminals, foreign and domestic, are now after your homes. It's easier than you think for them to get your home. Title documents to your homes are online right now, and the thief finds your home's title, forges your signature on a quick claim deed, and uh, states you sold your home to them and then takes out loans against your home, leaves you in debt. You're not going to know anything even happened until late payments start showing up. Eviction notices arrive. Insurance isn't going to cover you. Neither do identity theft programs. That's why you got to protect your home with home title lock. Home title lock. The instant they detect something is going on with your home's title, they're going to shut it down immediately. I want you to go to HomeTitleLock.com, register your address. They'll tell you if you're already a victim. Use code RADIO to receive 30 free days of protection. That's code RADIO at HomeTitleLock.com. Go there today. Okay, so here's what we're going to do in this episode. Well, at least in this segment. We're going to figure out what we can do to become YouTube stars. All right? Oh, yay. Here we go. Okay. Let's brainstorm Lisa. Now, Stu told us last week that whenever you get focused on something, it's like a laser beam. Like you are right on it. Pew! Like one track mind. One track mind. Like when it hits your head, he said that you have like, Paint swatches on the wall right now. You are focused on carpets, getting your house redone yep. after the flood. Yep. So you're zing on it. Yes. I'm owning it. I don't I, apologize for that. I want you to get laser focused because we're going to do some controversial shit. We don't know what yet, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. we're going to do it, Mark Tate. We're going to do it. <laughs> well, now, we, need, we need a six-year-old. Well, first of all, <laughs> nobody needs a nine-year-old when you can get an eight-year-old, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can and, give you an eight-year-old. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we like let them drive motor vehicles. Ooh. <laughs> like let's give them a car that we that doesn't matter if it gets wrecked, and we'll just take them out on like the property, right? Take them out on the ranch, uh -huh. put them in the pasture, and just be like, take off, kid. <laughs> <laughs> just put a cage around them. Yeah, people would watch that. People would watch that. Like uh, uh, Demolition Matt. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all follow my buddy Demolition Matt. Uh, he's a veterinarian, but that ain't where he makes all of his money. Oh, yeah. He's at 9 million YouTube subscribers. And what he does is he does all this crazy stuff with guns. And then one of these days, he's going to wind up shooting himself in the foot or the head. God bless you, buddy. Dr. Matt. Dr. Demolition. Uh, because of the crazy stuff he does. So, whose kid are we sacrificing? Mm, mm. Whose kid? Hmm. Now, if you go up to the property where, where we have rednecks with paychecks that happened just last weekend, uh, they have what's called the Barbie downhill race, okay, where they take the little Barbie cars and people go now see how fast they can get to the bottom and at least a very few make it. Okay. And you have to, even if you run across the finish line, you have to be carrying at least a piece of the car. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take somebody's eight-year-old. Yeah. And we're going to do Barbie car reviews. Okay, this is totally me because I have a daughter who's eight and has Barbies yeah. and Barbie cars. And so I guess youngest, it'll be Ainsley who's sacrificed. My youngest is 11, <laughs> so that's practically an adult. I think. 
<laughs> I mean, she basically can She's drive already. She's 10 years from being able to drink legally. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get this kid hammered. Oh, crap. <laughs> Not on alcohol. I'm like hopped up on sugar. Oh. Get your head out of the gutter. We're just going to get them all buzzed. It's right. Lisa's kid. I'm yeah. fine. Whatever. Okay. Just whoever's kid. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. She's my kid, so she's automatically buzzed. I would sacrifice <laughs> one of my children, but they're too late. It's over. My kids are old. Way too old. Way oh, too old. God. My kids are driving. Yeah. What's another idea? <laughs> that would seem We're smart. We're whiteboarding. We could, have someone's, we could have someone's child taste test uh, things oh, I, like that, where you, I like where you're going. Yeah, uh, that have uh, food or different types of products that have been deemed poisonous mm. to the public. But are is it really poisonous? Like Stu drank Roundup when he was a kid, and he ah, said he yeah. never. Obviously, he's still here, lived to, living to tell. Uh, so my like daughter drank you Windex. The, your daughter not drank sure about Windex. where you yeah. ended. <laughs> like where you started on that idea. Not sure about where you ended. What if? What if we blindfold kids? Okay. And we set them at the table. And we bring out food from the refrigerator that's been in there for a minute. We don't know how many minutes, oh. but you know, you always have that crap in the back of the shelf. Yeah, there. like those pickles. Okay, you know what this is? Hmm. You know what this is? I don't know. This is Fear Factor for eight-year-olds. Yes. But, yeah. And they could die. And we had them sign waivers. Yep. Because they could die. Kid Factor. Kid Factor. Fear, cure, kid Fear. Cure, fear, kid Fear. Kid Fear, kid fear Factor. Or... I got a better idea. Oh, okay. gosh. <laughs> wow. We put a monster under their bed. <laughs> <laughs> Candace? There was like a defunct reality show from back in like 2007, and it was just like a bunch of kids, 12 and older, younger, lived on a like a small abandoned like Main Street town in like a Western area, and they were just left up to their own devices, and the only thing the producers would step in for was murder. Wow. And they what? only did... They only did one season because, like, it was just 12, kids died. 12 and under, and it was like Lord of the Flies. It was great. Okay, well, it's so too that, soon. I was going to say. too soon now. See, I was going to say soon. they were just before their time. Yes. Time is now. We're going to do a whole new Lord of the Flies. We're going to drop these kids on the island. There may be some wild hogs there. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, it could be like snakes. Blair Witch Project Part 3. Yeah. Yes. Junior. Junior. Blair Witch Junior. I'm liking where we're... Look, I'm telling you guys, throw the graphic back up there, Mark. These kids are making bank. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Making bank. Ryan Kaji, $29.5 million a year. The kid's nine. Kid's nine. Where's he going to spend all that money? His parents love it. They're laughing, at the, they're laughing all the way to the bank. You know what? I was watching that video. Um, you, still have that, you still have that sock. Can we play the one of Ryan again? I want to play that sucker again if you got it pulled up. I want, to, I want to point something out to you guys. Play it, Mark. This is Ryan. At right. first glance, Stop it he right seems there. like a typical... First of all, if my kid's making $30 million, I'm going to dress better than that. Right? <gasps> Tuck your crap in. You and your flyaway collar v-neck sweater, Dad. Get a haircut. I'm going to be walking in my Ferragamo shoes. No, you're wrong. You're going to hear my booty squeaking. That's wrong. You don't think so? <laughs> no, that's the bit. That was the whole bit. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they get, oh, they just I mean, it look worked. Normal? $30 million says yes. Well, first of all, you wouldn't see my white ass anywhere near Irving, <laughs> Texas, <laughs> if I had $30 million in the bank, right? <laughs> Retired. Yeah. I would be somewhere, and Party Foul Steve would be out looking with an all-points bulletin trying to find my ass. Heck yeah. He would be. I'd be living under your house. I'd be hiding out. Yeah. I would be. I, Glenn Beck would go to his ranch and I'd be like, Glenn, where you been, bro? What's up, buddy? Come on in. He'd be like, oh, what are you doing here? I'm like, these are my new digs, Glenn. He's like, I didn't sell this to you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, Glenn. Of course, Glenn could blow his nose and 30 million fall out. Wow. Yeah, it's insane. I mean, it's true. Glenn, Glenn could, Glenn could mm -hmm. buy me mm -hmm. that. In fact, Glenn, buy me. <laughs> buy me, Glenn. Uh, but, okay, play the clip, Mark. This is Ryan. At first glance, he seems like a typical first grader. Like hit by car. Seven years old, he loves soccer, his dog, and his family. But Ryan is also the face of a fast-growing toy empire. It sprung from his wildly popular YouTube channel, Ryan's Toy Review. All right, oh stop God. it right there, Mark. 
Now, first of all, if a kid with his eyes that far apart can make $30 million a year, then I know some good looking kids like what y'all got could do. it. This is true. That I gotta go. <laughs> Oh. That's where you draw the line. <laughs> like, I, can't, I, I can't. think he's cute. Oh, okay. He is cute. Look, from my vantage point, looking at the big screen over the bar right there, I have got, I got a camera. I got a camera sitting here that that I I can see his eyes on either side of Watch the thing. Watch it. Right? That's the truth. <laughs> Chad that Elliott Prather. He's worth $30 million. Dollars. He's a grown man in my eyes. He, he can take the think. criticism. He's making $30 million. 30 million. Yeah. None of them care what you think because they're like, but right. what if you had a gig like that where you never had to buy toys for your kids? Like Santa Claus, they just send him the toys. See, they're to just play brilliant. With. They're brilliant. That was smart. All right. You remember remember uh John and Kate plus eight? Oh, oh yeah. That show yep, up? Yep, yep. And why didn't they use one of them? Why they could have sacrificed one of them kids? That's right. I mean, it's like on Raising Arizona. They got five babies high. <laughs> I want me a baby high. They got five of them. <laughs> It's going to steal one. We're just butt hurt because we didn't figure that I out. I know. I know. I'm just trying to think of something stupid because I sit here and I tell you guys every day about uh, Ilan Omar, and, I, and I'm going to today. Yeah. I, we talk about The Bachelor, uh, the domestic extremism. Yes. And, and, you know, I just need my Tuesday to have a, a some pizzazz. <laughs> <laughs> just a little pizzazz in it. I'm not eating. Why? I'm, I'm technically wasting away. He's starving. I, people are like, why are you posting so many selfies, lady? Cause damn, girl, look at this. <laughs> what you talking about? Look at this. Oh, He's it. beyond keto skinny. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Don't you, get skinny fat, though. Oh, no. You What, you mean like when you're a smaller version of your fat self? Yes, and you don't work out. Well, that's messed up. It's the truth. Do I look like that? No, I you're said off don't. the show. I said, it's contrary canceled. today. Canceled no, I just Here's said, what we're going to do. I just said, don't get that way. Work out. You know what we're going to film you doing? Getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's going viral. Well, execute my last check. Yeah, there you go. We're just going to cancel that last check of zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you get a nice here, severance now. Here, let's make this go viral. Oh, mom, I don't, where's it going? Well, nope, don't have my cash with me. But, oh, okay. I was going to pay you. That's our million dollar, like that's our viral clip, like white woman gets fired on live television. Yes. yes! White cisgendered Christian female gets fired by a white cisgendered dude. Yep. Uh, yeah. There that's, it is. Listen. But at some point in time, at some point in time, we got to come up with something because because this ain't cutting it. This Blaze TV thing don't work. <laughs> People, I mean, I ask you guys, you're like, I'm so pissed off at YouTube. How dare they do this trash that's on there? And I tell you guys, go to blazetv.com and sign up for an annual subscription. Mm. It's 80, 90 bucks less with the discount code. Go do it. And then you know what? We can take the YouTubes of the world and kick them to the curb. That's, That's true. what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. Mark. No, Tate. you're true. And all God's See people what I'm saying? saying? You're right. Kick them to the curb. We don't have to come up with a gimmick. We can, we can talk about Ilan Omar. They cut my Rashida Tlaib chapter out of my book. Oh. You remember when Rashida Tlaib said, um, I'm fighting it though. Remember when Rashida Tlaib says, said she don't want people coming and having sex with her? Like, stop thinking that you can have sex with her. Remember when she made that comment? Well, I wrote a whole chapter on nobody wants to have sex with Rashida Tlaib. Uh, and they and it got you cut. Post? Yeah, they cut it. Hmm. They did? Yeah. They don't want that chapter in the book. Mm, too controversial. Felt like it was a little strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little too much. <laughs> Felt like it was a little strong. Well, they strong. do know who you are, right? <laughs> they realize who they got, right? The future. I know my audience. Uh but this, this, it's just like, I'm so tired of the censorship and the crap that comes mm -hmm. with this. I, we should be free to talk about anything we want to talk about. Anything. We could talk about it. I mean, with, with common sense. Well, we can talk it on the, we could talk about it on the blaze and, and have no worries about it. But... Right. Exactly. So if you subscribe, you get it. So I should be able to talk about the results of the 2020 election without fear yes. of losing my Twitter account for seven or 30 days. Right. Yeah. I mean, I should be able to talk about these things, how I really feel about it. 
You know, like when 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 the when the graph was going up, and then all of a sudden it went straight up, mm-hmm. and then it went tick 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 overnight for Joe Biden, mm-hmm. and it started looking like those stairs he fell up, <laughs> <laughs> just higher and higher. Yeah. Tick 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 tick. I should be able to talk about that, but I can't because YouTube wants to cancel me. Mm. Go to blazetv.com slash chad. Use promo code CPS. And sign up for an annual subscription. <laughs> BlazeTV.com. This is what I'm saying, guys. I, I'm, I'm just uh, fired up on a Tuesday. Yeah. On a Tuesday. And I'm already fired. <laughs> I was going to pay you. Thank you. I was going to pay you and I had nothing in my pocket. You probably hire me back. Natalie. You know why I don't have anything in my pockets? Because YouTube screws me out of it. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, let's sell something, Candace. That's the only way. That's the only way that Natalie's ever going to get paid. <laughs> hey, what's your credit score, Natalie? What's your credit score? Most of us think above seven hundred is good. Below seven hundred is bad. Not necessarily the case. It's National Credit Awareness Month, folks. And ScoreMaster, the new science and credit scores, is inviting listeners of our show, regardless of your credit score, to experience how quickly and easily you can add the plus points you need to your credit. It's going to save you a ton of money. The average ScoreMaster user uh, is going to get about 61 points added to their score in 20 days or less. I saw mine jump by like 36 points. It was crazy. Just certain little tricks you could do in there, and they tell you how to do it. Uh, imagine what 61 extra points added to your credit score could do. You could save a fortune when buying a car, financing a home or apartment, or buying anything on credit. ScoreMaster puts you in control of your credit and finances. National Credit Awareness Month. Did you know that was going on, Natalie? Did you know? It's National I, I didn't. Credit. You need to be aware of your credit. I should. Yeah, you should be. Um, sign up. In one minute, see how many plus points you can add with ScoreMaster. You control it. Visit scoremaster.com slash Chad. That's scoremaster.com slash Chad. Get them points. She's fired. She left. Hot news Natalie left. She vacated. Look at this. Lisa. I miss her already. Natalie, come back. Come back, Natalie. Please come back. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're back. Don't everybody. fire me. Hi, everybody. Hi. You're irreplaceable. <laughs> Let well, me read you guys a couple of stories here. Uh, a desperate American husband has been spared jail after smuggling three suitcases of cannabis into the UK to pay for his pregnant wife's medical care in Texas. Um, hmm. Interesting. 35-year-old Corian Ross was stopped by customs officials in Heathrow Airport after arriving in London. I bet that stunk to high heaven. Can you imagine? I mean, three suitcases, eight pounds of skunk cannabis worth 12,000 pounds, five packages. Uh, he traveled with three suitcases, a black, a blue, and a gray, ripped open with bolt cutters uh, when he refused to hand over the keys. There you go. He's a sports therapist. Acted out of desperation. Pregnant wife. A uh, couple did not have health care in the U.S. Um, uh, desperate times, guys. Where you get three cases? Where are you going? What's Lisa doing? Lisa, are you <laughs> now? I'm back. I'm back, and she's you, back. You think you're fired? Too? I just want to know what that smelled like. Like, Skunk, that, wow. Smell weed. And is he wondering why he got caught? Like, yeah. right? Wow. Remember that Papa Green, homegrown <laughs> Hawaiian. Yeah. He's probably ho- hoping that he was on a flight with people that actually had COVID and never got their smell back. Yeah, some of that was Sonic committed. chronic. Man, committed. Man. Sonic chronic. I like it. <laughs> Let's get that trendy, people. Yeah, you would think. Uh, um, so anyway, they they're not going to put him in jail. Apparently, uh, they're not going to do that. They're going to. Phew. Yeah, I was worried about God that. God bless you, Corian. Uh, yeah, you are thirty five years old and a citizen of the United States. You're a resident in Texas. God bless Texas. Perhaps not the best state to be a resident in the United States. They said uh, you have no previous convictions in the United States, which is supported. Uh, from a number of documents 
The one-off escapade was in order to earn a small amount of money, $4,000, in order to pay the medical bills for your wife. Um, so there you go. Hmm. There you go. Um, what would you do for $4,000? Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I do this for free. So it's just uh, anything. People don't understand. They don't understand. We all do this for free. We do. Yeah. And I love it. We all. We all. Really? Nope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> three out of the five Liar. people in this studio right now get paid. <laughs> Not a lot, mind you, but uh, we do. Uh, As you should. Uh, Ilan Omar, I promised you, I'm going to deliver. Gosh. Cosmopolitan Magazine. Uh, Representative Ilan Omar, she's fighting the multi-billion dollar skin whitening industry. Apparently that's the thing, uh, Candace. Is that, is that like for black women or brown women or white women? I don't... I'm going to get it done. All women. You're gonna I want to get, get it done. skin whitened? Yeah. You will be translucent. <laughs> I, seriously, Casper. Yeah. I just want to try it. Just like you take me down. You went and got tan just, today. I'm just... But this is in preparation for my skin lightening to see how light we can go. Oh. I want skin darkening, and, but I'm not allowed to do that, right? Um, oh, gosh. If you can't... Not yeah, on this show. No, not no. okay. Nope, not okay. Not but I, I, I just show. think that dark fat looks better than white fat, and I'd like to be darker. It's true. When I'd you're like tan, to get whiter. I just wrote a song called "If You Can't Tone It, Tan It." <laughs> <laughs> I did. Just and I just song. gave that to you earlier. Tone it. Yeah. If you can't tone it, tan it. Um, I'd, I'd sing you a little bit of it, but I don't want to give it away yet. I don't. Okay. I don't have a melody for it yet. I like but it. I, but I've written most of the song. Ooh. You can't tone it, <laughs> tan it. That's pretty much how it goes. Uh, <laughs> and, this issue is personal to those of us around the world who are brown and black. It's not only about the physical harm, there's psychological damage as well. So for anyone wondering, there aren't other important issues to focus on. Uh, this is an important issue. Products were all around me growing up, and when you're constantly told that lighter skin is better, the damage is long-lasting. Who's like doing it? Who's, who's doing know. it, Chad? I don't know. I Maybe don't... people with vitiligo and ah. they just want to balance their skin because their skin so it's starting they're starting to lose pigment. It would be interesting to this, though to see the outrage if let's just say a darker skinned person wanted to lighten their skin. Would there be such outrage from the Caucasians about it? Would they get canceled? Didn't Michael Jackson do this? This is fascinating to me. <laughs> just thinking about it. Thou raisest an interesting question. Yeah. Would the, would the Caucasian community lose their minds? With the whites, yeah. yep. If a white person wanted to darken their skin? Mm. Survey says! Uh-uh. Eh. There you go. Jeffree Star. Uh, Jeffree Star, the mm. uh, one who's making, what, 15 million? YouTuber. 20, 20, 20 million, YouTuber. We talked about him. I, I learned of Jeffree Star yesterday. He's the, he's the uh, I, don't, I don't know what you would catch. Fierce contouring. Yeah. Beautiful makeup. Yeah. yeah. True. I'm thinking my eyes look a little white. You should. Oh. You should consult him. I'm not going to do it. All right. <laughs> you don't want contour? Um, battling away several racism and abuse scandals, the video series uh, gave Star, which is the secret world of Jeffree Star documentary vlog, um, gave Star the redemptive and sympathetic origin story that only he and his... Um, it's, I don't know what they are. Stands? What are stands? Hmm? Fans? People? Fans who stand by you through anything. Stands. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is spin on words, you know, like. I have stands. You have the fat Fans pack. who stand with you. Fat no matter pack. what you do. Yes, you do. You learn something every day. And here I thought I was an incel. <laughs> that's right. That's his Still new word. I don't know word. what that means. Uh, <laughs> it's a big word. Involuntary celibate. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Uh, shortly after its release, Drama Geddon 1.0 erupted, leading to the cancellation of his competitors. I can't anymore with this crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just can't anymore. Is he the one that said that women should throw acid on them? Yeah, see, that's what made me think of Jeffree Star. Because, Was he joking? No, just, well, I mean... Yeah, but being mean about it. But I was mean about the nine-year-old, about his eyes. <laughs> like, they could probably cancel me for whatever. I'm sorry. I don't know who I was in the last segment. I don't know who I was in B-Block. 
I just watched that video and the toys and the parents and the V-necks and the and the and the flyaway collars and it ran away. And Natalie quit slash got fired. No, I got fired. She was she was downsized. Unemployment. She was downsized. She was slim fasted. I am. <laughs> I am doing that right now. I am downsizing. Damn it, man. I'm on my way. Day but three. Yeah, he said put battery acid on people uh, to lighten their skin. This is this is just this is not a good world we're living in. If you want to lighten your skin, do it. Lisa. I'm excited. But if not you with battery darken acid. Your skin, darken it. I do. You I'm, know what? I'm going to. I come in this studio every day that I'm every day. <laughs> and I sit down in that makeup chair and I'm like, tan me, lady. <laughs> <laughs> now that she doesn't go too dark, I kind of want, uh, want the orange glow of Donald J. Trump. Who doesn't? Who mm -hmm. doesn't? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this morning in the makeup chair, I thought she was about there <laughs> with the eyes. I came in and you did look a little bit like I reverse was, raccoon. Uh, yeah, I was like... They were white. Yeah, I don't know what you're using on me today, but... Um, <laughs> he was like, my eyes look really white. By God, if it... If it if you can't tone it, tan it. True. How's it go? Tone it. I love that. She, you know what she said to me? She said that I'm going to be a skinny fat person. <laughs> she said, don't get skinny fat. I said, don't get skinny fat. Let me just get skinny first. Just lunge. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. You've been looking at my rear end. A little bit. It's a sweet country apple. <laughs> Got some great news to share about my friends over at Patriot Mobile. They just expanded their coverage dramatically, which makes it easier for even more Americans to dump the big name carriers or charge way too much than donate money from your bills that you pay to leftist organizations. I'm proud to partner with Patriot Mobile because they never, ever sent a penny to the left. They will never silence you. YouTube. They are America's only Christian conservative wireless provider. You can switch with confidence and know that they use the same network as the large providers, but charge way less, way less. Switching is easy. You can keep your phone number, bring your own phone, buy a new one. Uh, you can build your own bundle with multi-line discounts and save even more. Just go to patriotmobile.com slash chat. You can call their U.S.-based customer service team, which is refreshing, 972-PATRIOT. That's 972-PATRIOT. Veterans and first responders will save even more. Now, this month, you can get their premier activation where they'll set up the phone for you and give you a special gift with offer code CHAD. I spell it, Chad. PatriotMobile.com slash Chad. Go today. So, did you guys watch The Bachelor? I did the whole season. You? No, no, but I heard all about the finale. So I the, did. So, like, it just ended or something. Mm -hmm. Matt oh, James. I don't. I don't. I don't know what that means. Matt that James was the, was, the he was the Bachelor. Yeah. Was he handsome? Yeah, he was good looking. Good looking. Mm -hmm. Not what I asked. I asked if he was handsome. Um, you know who else is handsome? Little Ryan Kaji. You're trying. He's a good looking kid. He is cute. Oh. Listen, for $30 million a year, <laughs> good looking kid. Um, people of color deserve both representation and escapism. The Bachelor failed to deliver either. Um, I mean, you could, I mean, this says file this under another way. The Bachelor has illuminated something so much bigger that we really need to start talking about. Um, uh, so. I'm assuming Matt James was his name. Matt James. He wasn't black, right? Matt was black. He was black. He is black. He went. He still He's is. Still black. He's well, still black. Isn't he mixed? Uh, yeah, uh, that's true. But he, he, yes. But he, he on this show was identified. Uh, yes, he was identified as a black man. There we go. Yeah. So yeah. season 25, they've had 25 of these things. They have. Uh, the franchise chose its first black bachelor. There it is. Mm -hmm. Matt James. Picked a crew of contestants who were more diverse than ever before. For people of color, the show finally seemed poised to give us the elusive combination of representation and escapism that we deserve uh, and, quite frankly, have almost never received in entertainment programming. Mm, is that true? think that's true? I don't think that's true. Uh, but that's my opinion. What do I know? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, anyway. Uh, uh, 
I couldn't get lost in Matt's love story because it was so overshadowed by the toxicity, off-screen controversy, and of course, the Queen Victoria of it all. I, what does that mean? What does that there mean? There was a there was a contestant, uh-huh. one of the girls. Her name was Victoria. Okay. She was very dramatic and ridiculous. Aren't they all? See, I've always um, referred to the Bachelor as thirty dirty hookers in a hot tub looking for a rose. I think that sums it up. Yeah. Yep. It's very accurate. Maybe. I mean, I've had a few friends on the show, so I'm not saying that. Did they all kiss the same guy? <laughs> yeah. I mean, did they come home with herpes on their lips? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's that's my whole thing. Um, compared to all that, Matt's arc was so thin, and that contrast felt really stark when it was juxtaposed with how deeply the show fleshed out, uh, say, Sarah, a white contestant who left so early in the game. Um <sighs> How can you relax when you're the only person cringing at a racially insensitive joke? I I can't with this stuff. It's so, so over the top. Like, this is, this is what we care about? Wait. You said he was handsome, right? Yeah. Uh, People of color, like Matt James, Mm -hmm. many of the women who appeared on this season deserve not only to have their stories told, but also told in the same way everyone else is framed. They're not tokens or symbols, and they deserve better. Did they tell his story in a way that was derogatory or I, i'm I, curious to know from the viewers because I, I don't i'm I don't a viewer and I, I don't remember that nor did i i i care about that the the ending is what overshadowed all of that because the girl that he chose there were some pictures that emerged of her at an antebellum party oh and with that she governor ralph northam she had made some some uh comments on social media that seemed somewhat racist or racist and so um, those were, you know, came to light. He was defending her until she did admit that she went to this antebellum party, which she now, then realized that was completely not appropriate in her is eyes. She hot? Yeah, she's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, very pretty. Is, really, yeah. really this pretty. This was girl. a sorority party, too. Okay. And so, so he dumped her. He, yeah, he dumped, so her, over he dumped her over it and said, You need to oh, learn who you are yeah. and realize this. Stu- I'm like, Were you really in love with her? Because you could work through this together. <laughs> I mean, but couple nope. therapy? No. Mm-mm. Not in today's over. age. She wasn't um, woke enough. Wasn't woke enough. She got canceled. Yeah. Did she apologize? Uh, oh, for, 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 for having gone to college and like I went to the University of Georgia. I got news for y'all. Yeah. 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 She's from the South, and it, she definitely, definitely apologized. But so did Chris Harrison, the the who has since hired some attorneys. Yeah. By the yeah, way, yeah, he was the worst apology of all of them. Yeah, he apologized for... If they had been bringing in a lot of money on YouTube, their apology would have gotten them more views and Uh, bigger notoriety. But see, the fact they were on ABC... Yeah, that's the problem. That is the problem. Okay. They are on television. They're not on YouTube. See, YouTube would have just said, boo, yeah. Yeah, boo. Yeah. Boo, yeah. yeah. And you know what? ABC... ABC said booyah because all that apology y'all remember brought ABC a ton of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because people were watching that stuff, some with mixed emotions, some going, this is bullshit. And then other people going, I feel so sorry for her. Yeah. <laughs> but ABC was cashing it into the bank. But you know what? She's canceled. You know why? Because she ain't going to be back on the next season. Yeah. Now, she ain't going to be back. So they used her up. Sure. They can't make no more money off of her. Mm-hmm. Right? So she gone. Did you see the after the final roads? Did Girl, you see I any of on that crap? I'm asking for a reason. No. So you, so Chris Harrison got replaced. Yeah, by the Lindsay girl. No, by no, some no, athlete, no, no, right? No, no, no. Oh, sorry. What would you say? Who would you say would replace? Not, not the, not fame or anything like that. Just a black person. Yes. Yes. Yeah, of course. Bingo. Yeah, of yeah. course. I mean, that's that's. I mean, you can. It, it, but yet they're going to say we don't want to be used as tokens. Mm-hmm. Well, what the hell do you think that is when they take Chris Harrison? They're going to switch that around, and you're going to, what are they going to do? They're going to put a token black, just like Jake from State Farm. Jake from State Farm is a white guy. We got to have a black guy. Mm -hmm. And you're going to talk about tokenism? Mm -hmm. It's bull crap, folks. I mean, this is the thing. It's a uh, self-perpetuating prophecy. I mean, you are creating your own narrative of persecution. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's stupid. You're You're creating a narrative, one, that doesn't exist, Critical race theory is a joke. It's an unsubstantiated narrative. Then you're going to pull this crap like this and then talk about tokenism? I mean, and then that's exactly what they're doing. ABC's like, got to find a black person. <laughs> yep. Was it a black woman or a black man? Man. 
Of course. I, I'm assuming with The Bachelor, it has to be a man host or doesn't have to be. But uh, he would... was an awful host, too, by the way. Yeah? Awful. Yeah? Awful. It didn't flow. Chris is a good host. I mean, he's a good host. Yeah. He really is. I remember when he was the host of, like, Curb Appeal back on HGTV. Oh, that's that's way right. Back. Like, oh that God. I used to watch. That I used to watch. That's right. They'd make over those houses. Like, that's television I could get behind. Mm-hmm. 30 dirty hookers in a hot tub kissing on a dude waiting on a rose is not my kind of television. But America will Stay. watch. Of course they will. Yeah, I will. Now, what if? Just bear with me now, Candace. Never mind, she's back. She's back. <laughs> I can't say what I was going to say. YouTube. Okay. YouTube. Get a bunch of teenagers. <laughs> we call it prom night. We take one 17-year-old boy and 30 teenage girls. Oh. And they've got to vie for him to be the prom date. And they can make out in the hot tub. Mm. They can go to the mm-hmm. private room. See how ridiculous that sounds? Mm-hmm. Well, I think but it's okay was... for adults to no, do it. No, it's true. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But you, we, you see, it always gets creepy when you make it about the kids. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Why but, are they 17? But seriously, Candace, file that one away. <laughs> <laughs> Mark it. We're on to something. What'll it take to get Ryan Kaji a date? <laughs> $30 million a kid's got his own McLaren. Yeah. Yeah. What'll it take if we could get Ryan Kaji to drive that McLaren? Mm-hmm. Unaccompanied. <laughs> Hopped up on sweet tarts. I'm telling you, I'm coming up with gold, Candace. In Chad's field. Yeah, we put them out in the pasture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put them out in the pasture. He just he can't even see over the he can't he can't see out of the 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 windshield. Old phone but he books. but he can look at both of the uh, side mirrors at the same time. This kid. Okay, there it is. <laughs> there it is. It back. Oh, I got there it. There it is. I'm I'm tired of the stupid world. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Hang tight. We're right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am sad to bring this news, but Ryan Kaji um, doesn't wear a mask, doesn't social distance, as we have seen in the video, and also fails to wash his hands. I want you to see how close they're, they're in that interview right there. Look, there is no social distancing. There's no mask wearing. Uh, Ryan Kaji's a super spreader. Kaji's uh, representatives could not be reached for comment. Mm. I want to take the next 60 seconds to... Um, apologize (laughs) i am sorry for what i did i was not a good ally i don't believe that my actions represent who i am in my heart i don't think that it is becoming of me as a person uh i don't think that it represents my pronouns properly and i want to say from the bottom of my heart it's hard to say that I'm sorry. We'll do better. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And always hard to be. And a love that lasts forever. Ever. And I need you here with me. From the night until the end of time. I can't I can't sing the apology. Mm-hmm. So, you, should you should know everywhere, everywhere I go. You're always, always on, on my, my mind In my heart, in my soul Baby, you're the reason in my life You're the inspiration You bring apologies to my mouth <laughs> You're the inspiration Sorry that I fired you I'm so glad you came back to us Tuesday no, song See you tomorrow night Love you, God bless I'm so sorry, bye <laughs>